Hi, congratulations. Now you have connected SalesWings to Marketing Cloud. We have already created all the data extensions and we are in the process of pushing all the past and existing lead and lead activity data from SalesWings over to Marketing Cloud. Moving forward, all the new lead activity, all the, lead, all the sales wings data that is being created is pushed in real time over to the data extensions in Marketing Cloud. So you have the data instantly available to create personalized and great customer experiences within Marketing Cloud with sales wings data. When you open the Marketing Cloud integration, section you will then see also the status of this initial data transfer um, shouldn't take up more than you know three minutes so here you will see whether or not you have all the data ready available now there's one more step required for you to be able to activate our data and use it within the journey builder so you want to go to the data extensions here, just as an information, when you search for SW, you will find all our data extensions. We have four data extensions where we're pushing the data into. We have all the leads with their predictive score, their total point lead score, last website activity, and all the other uh, activity that's directly linked to the, to the lead. We have every single lead activity whether it's created from our tracking script uh, but you can also get any event that you're tracking with google tag manager or an other tag management tracking tool that you connect to sales wings you can get that straight into marketing cloud and of course you can also do your own queries uh, within this table using standard marketing cloud functionality we have then the list of attributes. This is our tax. Will be also our multiple scoring and all the other attributes that we will be able, able to create. And now we have the lead attributes, which links the attributes with leads. And now I'm gonna show you how you can connect that to your subscribers to create great customer experiences thanks to Sales Wings. So for this, we're going to contact builder. And for those who are new to Marketing Cloud, you find this under Audience Builder and Contact Builder right here. Here, you want to create first a new attribute group, and we're going to call this Sales Wings B2B Studio. You can create any icon you like. The airplane is one that we prefer. Click Create. Now here we are going to link the data extensions from sales wings to the contacts. So you will find that in data extensions. And the very first one you need to pick is called sales wings lead. And then it's gonna be your account name or URL or account ID um, after that. So sales wings lead and then this identifier. Careful that you don't take sales wings lead attribute. You really need to take this one, which is sales wings lead, and then your account identification. Here you get to select email address on the left and email on the right, and this will link the leads with the subscribers. And this is a one-to-one -one relationship. Click. Okay. Now we're going to connect the next data extension. So we're going to add a relationship here. And we're now going to connect the page visits. So the page visits are all the individual activities which are pushed into the marketing cloud from every you know, historical and future activities a lead is doing. So here we're going to select lead ID. And on the right side, also 
lead ID, which will be connecting the leads with the activity. And this is a one to many connection. One to many. Now we're going to connect the attributes to the leads. And remember, the attributes are the tags and uh, moving forward the multiple scores and the other data points we bring over to, to Marketing Cloud. So here we're going to select Sales Wings Lead Attribute. Here we select Lead ID and Lead ID. And this again is a one to many relationship. Now we still have to connect the lead to the lead attributes to the attributes. So here we're going to add another relationship. On the right side, we select the data extensions. And we select the SW attributes, which is the remaining one that's missing. Now careful, here this is a many to one. So a many to one relationship. And here we have attribute ID and attribute ID. And then save. And that's it. And now you have connected the sales wings data to your subscribers and you can use it flexibly within Journey Builder for <clears throat> entry events, for decision splits, and to create truly personal and timely customer experiences. Thank you very much and all the best.